Happy May 5th to you, my trading friends. We have a cherry bomb trade for you today, of course. Uh, I do apologize. Yesterday I recorded a video and then went to work. Never uploaded it until I realized that it didn't come out. Yeah. <laughs> you can do this for over a year and you still make mistakes. I guess that's kind of like trading right <laughs> anyway we're looking at arc you see that up there arc is uh apparently some etf some bundle of stocks uh, i didn't know anything about this symbol but we got an email of course from tasty trade we'll tell you how to get the same emails that we get if you stick around to the end but arc has you know better than average liquidity you can see that by the number of drops over there there's three out of four drops we're going to be in the weeklies though which is going to mean our liquidity uh, uh you know is going to take a hit as well however the iv rank is a nice 45 so we're looking, we're looking at a short put uh however that means you're going to risk nearly nine thousand dollars should this bundle of stocks go down all the way so is that too much would you consider turning this into a short put vertical let's take a look shall we Hi everybody, my name is Neil and I'm down here in the bottom left corner again. This is Option Theory. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, on screen, you can see that we're inside of Thinkorswim using simulated trading, which is, uh, you know, what I like to call the flight simulator, where you can get all your learning without all the risk, and I hope you'll join us. On screen, you can see yesterday's trade uh, was in the queues. I do believe it does look like the queues are going to come back a little bit, so probably erasing the gains that we had yesterday. Um, one would clearly say that betting against the market is not a long-term uh, strategy especially when you look at the charts but let's change this ticker symbol over here let's go to the charts let's change that over to arc a r k k type that into your uh, ticker symbol box i think i got that right and then we can see here that uh man definitely some whipsaw action you know what doesn't make me particularly bullish is seeing it hit pretty much the same line the same price and then bouncing off the markets clearly saying I don't think so <laughs> right but one could also say it's hit this area here and bounce back and saying no I do think so so will it continue is it on its way down to here and you bounce back up again or is you know so I don't know you know that's what tasty trade says is nobody knows anything but well, apparently we're going to be taking uh, advantage of the increased volatility to take a bet to say we don't think it's going to go anywhere lower than about here so it could come down to previous uh resistance and be fine so yeah let's see what happens right let's take a look at this trade let's go to analyze add simulated trade we're going to be in the june 11th weeklies and then we're going to come all the way over here to the put side here and looking at selling the 90 strike now we're looking at a bid ask that's now a dollar more. So my guess is these prices are going to go down. So we may not get filled at a mid price here. Uh, so where, you know, a mid price could be somewhere, let's see, that's 10, that's 15, so seven. Uh, I would say if we put in for 95, we'd probably get it, right? Cause that's probably gonna be where we'd end up in a mid price, maybe a dollar. So let's put in for the dollar. Let's go there, let's up that to a dollar. And let's try to get paid $100. Good probabilities on this one. By the way, know that we are uh, one contract in our size because we follow the tasty trade approach, or at least I do. They trade small and trade often. Now, one might argue that this is not terribly small, but I would say, look at this. We're at a nine delta here. That's, you know, normally if you're doing naked, they would be doing like a, a 16 delta, which there isn't one. So, you know, really try, trying to put ourselves out of harm's way. Um, you could go, of course, and maybe uh, buy this one back. You're going to, of course, reduce your maximum profit, but you will take on much less risk. All right, so let's take a quick look at this naked put and check our probabilities. Then we'll take a look at the vertical, because that's why hopefully I add some extra value to these tasty trade uh, cherry bombs. All right, so let's go over here to the risk profile let's set the date in the top right to june 12th that is our expiration where did i get that date from it's right here in the bottom left corner of our risk profile i like to get our expected move close to this left edge and then also close to the right edge so i'll drag on the on the x-axis here and now i've got my price slices 
not where I want them. Where I'd like this one price slice is to be right where it's break even at expiration. So we're looking at a 92% probability of ending on or to the right of that gold price slice. We'll call that the probability of profit is 92% at expiration. So that's fantastic. And honestly, it's pretty much the same probability for us taking off half of that credit in the next 37 days. So awesome probabilities. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, of course, what our max risk would be. Uh, would To see that, we, the easiest way, rather than having to scroll all the way to the left, is go here, $8,900. That's a lot. And maybe that maybe would too much of your portfolio, and I totally understand that. So if that's too much for you and, and it violates the rules that you have in your mechanics of not putting too much into one trade, right? Position sizing is key, right? If you're not able to manage or monitor these uh, trades during the day, then you might want to be able to sleep at night or sleep while you, you know, well, don't sleep while you're working or driving. So let's go over and take a look at making this a $10 wide and we'll go ahead and buy this one. So now I've got, uh, I don't want to lock that in there. So it's saying 55 cents. So 55 cents, take about half of the credit, but way less than half of the risk. So let's take a look then risk profile. Let's drag this over and, and go ahead and set price slices to break even. Same expiration. We're looking at almost the same probabilities of a 92%, 91.8, right? <clears throat> yeah, sure, we can only make $55. But there is a 90 one-ish percent chance we can sit there and let that happen take that 55 dollars right and then what's our maximum loss 945 dollars so almost a tenth of the risk right that's pretty fantastic i can totally appreciate why someone would want to do that now what are your thoughts and if you do this trade I'd love it if in the comments below, you put your fill price and the strikes or strategy that you used. I wanna do that and I'm trying to make a habit of that now when I remember to actually, you know, upload the videos. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with a naked put on this one. So I'm gonna go back and just do the 90. But to be honest, you know, where this my real dollar, my real dollar is at risk right here. I probably would not be putting this on. This would be too big for my account size to take $9,000 of risk. So, you know what I'll do? Because this is why we're doing this. I wanna put this on in my uh, margin account, confirm and send, put the naked put in my margin account, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the $10 wide in my IRA to simulate, you know, real life. Go ahead and we'll right click this trade, confirm and send, and I wanna put that one in the IRA. And now we'll test out the two strategies. Testing our theories, that's why I call this option theory. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video. Here's a thumbs up for you. I don't have a button, but if you do leave me a comment, if you do leave me a ticker, uh, I'm sorry, a ticker, your fill price and whatnot, I will absolutely give you a like for that, for doing that. Uh, if you wanna know how to join us and do this pretty much every day, I'm gonna keep teasing myself for not uploading the video right uh you go ahead and go down to the description you'll find a link to sign up for tasty trades cherry bomb email list after you've done sign up for them right it's not for me it's from tasty trade uh, perhaps you've heard of them right um come on back here and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so that you'll be notified when our videos come out i do hope this helps you and uh, it's has become a place that you can come and practice get in the flight simulator, and so that you can eventually transition to trading your real hard-earned dollars. All right, everybody, until I see you in the next trade, may the, that's not the fourth anymore, that was yesterday, <laughs> may the market be with you.